Welcome to the General Motors Heritage Center. Located in an unassuming warehouse in Sterling Heights, Michigan, this building houses more than 100 years of General Motors history. The Heritage Center is not open to the public. However, the GM Heritage Center can be reserved for group tours, conferences, meetings, and special events. So Bryce and I had a chance to tour the facility and capture some video and photos. This first installment will cover some famous Cadillac concept cars, a row of famous GM race cars, and the iconic Firebirds concept cars from the 50s. All right guys, so welcome to the GM Heritage Center. It is a pretty sweet uh, museum of cars and collections here. Um, you'll see throughout this video, so definitely come on and take a ride with us and check it out. Uh, so over here, we're looking at some of the concept cars that Cadillac had, um, dating all the way back to 2003. They had this uh, Cadillac 16 concept. This had a 16 cylinder that was uh, gonna be put into it. Um, absolutely massive car, but beautiful at that. The interior on it is just insane. Um, I love that the whole windows go down and there's no B pillar on there. Plus the uh, Cadillac logo is just crystal. Over here we have the uh, 2013 El Mirage. Uh, this is still, I think, one of the best looking Cadillacs that Cadillac has made, even though it was a concept. It's just incredible looking. Very long hood, uh, looks like a Batmobile on there. I love the wheels too, with some dish to it. Um, and then next, we have the Cadillac CL. Um, also, very striking wheels. The color of it almost looks purple. I can't tell if it's purple or black. Same thing with the interior. So over here, we have uh, some of the race cars, it's famous race cars that GM has had. Obviously they've had many, but uh, the Corvette is probably arguably the biggest, and uh, Next is the biggest American, probably motorsport that we have, which is NASCAR. Everybody knows that NASCAR is whether they love it or like it. is the uh, 2003 Cadillac CTS VVR. Um, this one's dear to my heart. This one's my favorite race car, I think, ever. Um, Uh, 
uh, coolest thing on this car, I think, is the, the V logo just down the side, and that kind of stuck with Cadillac, which is really neat, because we all know the Corvette logo and the wings, but the V logo is also just as striking, I think, um, plus the fact that it's just a big four-door with a V8 and the Cadillac logo is, is pretty cool. Next, we have the 1950 uh, Cad or, yeah, it's a Cadillac race car. Um, I don't know much about this one, but the one thing that stands out to me the most is these leather straps. This is all before hood pins, so if you think about it, they still got to secure the hood some way. Um, it'd be really cool to see someone build a rat rod. I'm sure people do it and use leather straps and try to get some of that history behind it. Then we have a 2001 uh, Indy car, similar to an F1 car. Um, classic Pennzoil livery on it. All right guys, so over here to my left, to your right, is the um, GM Firebird Concepts. This is the Firebird 3, and then we have the 2 and the 1 as we walk down here. The exhaust temperatures of the, that would come out the back would reach up to 1,250 degrees, so 
I hate to get stuck behind this thing in traffic because I'm going to say it would melt your car. It also looks like it was tested in the wind tunnels at uh, California Institute of Technology. See, they almost just look like, like I said, an airplane, the way that they got the fins up front. Um, this is the Firebird 2 from the front that we're looking at now. Aren't those Firebird concept cars amazing? Leave us a comment and let us know which one was your favorite. Stay tuned for part two of the GM Heritage Center tour as we show you a chronological history of some of the most famous GM vehicles. If you like what you saw, please leave us a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe so you can see more great content from Better Than Stock.